Welcome. Your presence here is no coincidence. It marks the beginning of a meaningful connection designed to deliver a powerful message from Many are going to receive an impartation of favor now. I just sense that fire on my hands. Father, as many who are tired of going around in circles and have not experienced favor, I stretch my hands. Receive this moment, the grace for favor. Receive this moment, the grace for favor. Let it rest on you. Paris Keparuta Siata. Receive this moment, the grace for favor. The grace for favor. The grace for favor. The grace for favor. Let it turn your life around. Let it turn your life around. In the name of Jesus. There are spirits that have tied men. There are spirits that have stopped destinies from going forward. They have not just attacked people because they are individuals. They have ravaged families. They have ravaged destinies. You can see their signature all over families. I'm about to make a decree right now. I see the fire of God just spreading everywhere. Whether inside or outside, as much as you can, I want you to bring those people here right now. You're not going to shout. I will speak. And then by the power of the Holy Spirit, <laughs> let it come to an end now. Let it come to an end now. Oppressions, causes, patterns that have tied destinies. I'm saying it again. Please bring them out. Let it come to an end now. By the fire of the Spirit of God, anyone here under the sound of my voice, you are a victim of household wickedness you are a victim of territorial spirits familiar spirits orchestrations of darkness tying you tying your loved ones right now be free be free be free be free be free be free i set you free by the power that raised christ from the dead i decree and declare be free right now be free for you and your children be free for you and your loved ones be free for you and your brothers and sisters be free in the name of jesus i'm seeing a word misfortune misfortune these are calamities that plague people you get up in the morning and something evil must happen by the time it is evening i pray for you i don't know who that person is but let the power of god wherever you are spirits causing misfortune aborting prophetic opportunities be set free now be set free now be set free now my god fire is burning in this place be set free now be set free now the plague of negative occurrences negative patterns around your life negative patterns it happened to grandfather it happened to father now it's happening to you in the name of jesus those patterns are broken now 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 in the name of jesus The spirit of delay tying people in one place my god fire is resting on people now delay over jobs delay over god's prophetic word you are going to shout jesus and as you shout that name anyone who has been a victim of delay your deliverance comes now are you ready one two three shout jesus 
Rakata bakata pas, rapa kapa rakato pates, rapa kapa 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 rakatos. Delay, broken now, broken now. That cost broken now, broken now. Hallelujah. Now most of you are not will not believe that there are spirits that keep families poor. The issue of economic empowerment is not just the issue of products and services. It's not just the issue of intelligence and value. There are spirits and I want to set you free. I'm ministering as God is placing it in my spirit. Are you ready to shout that name again? That name, the Bible says, for ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, 2 Corinthians 8, 9, that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, that ye through his poverty might become rich. The first realm is, is riches unto righteousness, but then it extends to every other area. I'm praying for you. Any family here that have not had the opportunity to taste of the goodness of God, to live a life of dignity and grace, as you shout this name, let those altars go down. Are you ready? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Jesus. Spirits of lack and want and poverty. Lack and want and poverty. Lack and want and poverty. Be broken. Lack and want and poverty give way in the name of Jesus don't be tired of receiving no don't be tired of receiving God is changing your life changing your life changing your life I'm ministering deliverance but many are going to receive an impartation of favor now I just sense that fire on my hands father as many who are tired of going around in circles and have not experienced favor i stretch my hands receive this moment the grace for favor receive this moment the grace for favor let it rest on you paris keparuta siata receive this moment the grace for favor the grace for favor the grace for favor the grace for favor let it turn your life around let it turn your life around in the name of Jesus favor favor someone who came here struggling you have done everything you know to do whether you have a job or not the difference does not show in your life whether you are in business or not the difference does not show in your life whether you are helped or not the difference does not show let this grace rest upon you now rest upon you now rest upon you now Are you ready to receive speed? Destiny is a function of time. And when Satan steals your time, he has taken a major part of your life. This one will come heavy on someone. There are two ways God gives us dominion over time I have taught you. Number one is called restoration. Number two is called speed. When God wants to show a man mercy, he brings both. Restoration means the events that should have happened in your yesterday are brought forward to manifest in your today. Speed is that God gives you capacity to do much within a little time. Are you ready to receive it? I pray for someone. Let me start with restoration. I don't know what you have lost through carelessness, what you have lost through lack of discernment, but I pray right now, let the grace for restoration rest on you restoration in your finances restoration in your marriage restoration 
in your relationships, restoration over your spiritual life, over your job. Receive restoration by the Spirit of God. Now, are you ready for speed? Oh, I believe in speed. Oh, some of you will run like Elijah, my God. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. I stretch my hands on a man of God. I stretch my hands over a business person. By God who has shown mercy, receive speed. Speed in ministry. Speed. Speed in business. Speed in career. Speed in your finances. In the name of Jesus. Let me prophesy to you. Become on time. Manifest on time. Acquire on time. Conquer on time. Receive the anointing on time. In the name of Jesus Christ. On time. That everything that will not allow you to have dominion over time, just help those under the anointing. I'm praying it for you again by this grace for speed. Some of you, God will take 10 years and put it in two months. 10 years. You believe it. I'm speaking by the Spirit. 10 years and put it in two years for you, in one month for you. Who am I prophesying to? In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, I call upon he who has the key of David, the one who opens a door that no man can shut and shuts a door. Every door that has been closed over your career, over your life, over your destiny, I declare, a father be open. A father be open. A father be open. A fata be open. A fata be open. Be open. Be open. Doors of strategic relationships. Be open. Doors of strategic finances. Be open. The treasures of darkness. The hidden riches of secret places. Be open. Doors of career. Be open. Doors of destiny help us be open in the name of Jesus. Someone shout open, shout open, shout open, shout open. Listen to me. Please don't be distracted. Something is happening in this place. Look at me. Every city you see has gates in the spirit and doors in the spirit. Just because you are there does not mean the gates are open. Now you see, if you grew up in the north or you have had encounters with the north, you will know that when you are entering most of the northern states, you will see like city gates. Am I right on that? Sometimes there are no doors. Until you pass that, most of the people believe that you have not entered that city you will see maybe welcome to Kano or welcome to whatever those gates it was an ancient principle there are many people who are in Abuja here but in the spirit you are not yet in Abuja so you cannot eat of that which belongs to those who are here are you ready for gates to open and doors to open listen I have seen territories where the inhabitants never eat of the blessings of the land it is only strangers that eat of it I have seen families where the children never eat of the blessings of the land it is strangers that eat of it we are going to pray that prayer there's an anointing on these open doors open God has opened some doors in my life as a person and as a man of God and I know the benefit 10 years can be compressed in one month under an open door. I am telling you. Are you ready to pray? Say Father. Shout it. Say Father. In the name of Jesus. 
strategic doors in this season that I must enter. I declare them open now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I declare them open. Everyone pray, be serious. Online pray. US pray. Canada pray. Kenya pray. South Africa pray. Ghana pray. Lagos pray. Every door, strategic doors, relational doors, financial doors, spiritual doors. Sabrega baga barakatash, lega prateka barakatos, kebrandeka baka barukatos. Take a minute to pray. All doors open in this season. All doors open in this season. Open of your own accord. Open unto me. Open for a new season. Open for greater influence. Open for greater kingdom impact. All doors open. Strategic doors open. Relational doors open. In Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray be seated for one minute be seated for one minute my God fire is burning in this place be seated in this place this testimony of open doors you will see how many people will come and stand here hallelujah let me tell you what happens when a door opens there is no restraint again an open door means access to the next level. All the rooms in a house are separated by doors. Just because you are in a house does not mean you will enjoy every provision in that house. You can be in the living room, but the door that leads to the kitchen is closed. And if it does not open when you are hungry, you will be in the house and be dying of hunger. The door to the restroom can be closed. When you are pressed and you need to ease yourself and that door is not open, it brings discomfort. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to bring all those that the power of God will rest on them now. Whilst you are seated. Whilst you are seated. Whilst you are seated. I want to make a declaration. This is not just for individuals. All these people are representing families. I'm seeing in the spirit. Families tied down by chains. Doors that have closed over them. This is what God is revealing to me. I want you to bring them out. Every family here, not just, you are individuals, but you are representing families. No one has been able to go forward. There is an embargo that has sat upon families. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call upon El Shaddai. I call upon the warrior. Once you are seated, anyone here under territorial closed doors that have tied you down, tied your family down right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost let it descend upon that family now let it descend upon that family now descend upon that family now descend upon that family now bring them out descend upon that family now in the name of Jesus descend upon that family now my God, in the name of Jesus, he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder, tied by witchcraft, tied by ancestry, tied by bloodline, in the name that is above all names. I say it again, be delivered now, be delivered now, be delivered now, you and your family, be delivered now. me the Lord is ministering to me that there are a number of you here an anointing is coming on you is a barrier breaking anointing something that has never been done in your family you have seen it in your visions you are the one ordained to do it I don't know how many of those people are there but let that anointing rest on you now bring them out the anointing of a savior the anointing of a breaker the anointing of a warrior in the name of Jesus, 
dimensions in the spirit that have never been crossed in your family may you cross it now levels of wealth that have never been attained by your family step into it now step into it now step into it now hallelujah listen when angel gabriel came to zechariah and said you will have a son zechariah wanted to prophesy something else and he shut his lips and then when they were about to call him john they said no you can't call him john nobody from this lineage has ever carried that name john nobody from this lineage has ever been called prosperous nobody from this lineage has ever been called anointed nobody from this lineage has ever been called a genuine christian nobody from this lineage has ever crossed primary school secondary school nobody from this lineage has even gone outside nigeria i stand by the anointing by the god who sent me anyone here who has been tied down pegged down that you and your family cannot go forward I prophesy to you go forward now 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 Alenda kapara sateke balako sabash rabada kaparako siata go forward go forward in ministry Go forward in ministry. Anointed but under closed heavens. Go forward. I release you. Go forward. Go forward in career. 10 years without promotion. 15 years without promotion. Go forward now. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I'm hearing in my spirit Jubilee. Let me tell you what Jubilee is. Jubilee is an exodus. After many years of captivity, please listen, listen, we're praying, we're praying. There is the spirit of Laban, is the spirit that never allows men to go. It will encourage you with something to keep you small, but it will never allow you go and have your own space. It's a spirit that fights increase. When Laban saw Rachel, he liked her and he wanted to marry her. But Jacob knew that if he marries her, he will go away. And he trapped her down. He trapped him down. And the man kept serving. When it was time to carry his wife, they exchanged the wife for Leah. And the man stayed again many years. The spirit of Laban. You won't suffer, but you won't rise. That is the spirit of Laban. You won't beg, but you can't give. Because you are barely enough. I pray for you any house you have found yourself physically and in the spirit that is tying you down not allowing you to rise to live destiny tonight i declare jubilee i declare jubilee i declare jubilee i declare jubilee be released to go forward be released to make progress be released to make progress in the name of jesus christ anybody that plans evil for you in the name of Jesus, what happened to her man will happen to them. I say it again, digging a pit for you to fall. May they fall into that same pit. Fall into that same pit. Fall into that same pit. Not to a hearer, that if you found your way to this place, or you are connected in the name of Jesus, you must carry a potent testimony tonight back home you must carry a potent testimony tonight back home in the name of Jesus testimonies are real testimonies are real they are manifestations of the hand of God the visitations of God by his word through his spirit in the life of his people are you ready for a change of story you are going to cry. I will list out the prayer points and you will pray. It's part of the miracle service. You hear the word of the Lord. Every pain, every pain, let it be gone now. Every pain.
pain around your chest pain around your your back for someone the lumbar area let that pain be gone now pain around the limbs be healed now for someone you have severe pain i'm seeing someone pain around your right ear be healed right now your hands severe pain this has happened now for days for someone be healed right now shout a believing amen There's someone you have a very severe pain around your rib area. I'm not sure if you've gone to the hospital for tests, but in the name of Jesus, the Lord is bringing you healing right now. Amen. Bringing you healing right now. Amen. Now every pain, whether I mentioned it or not, I decree and declare be healed now. Amen. I'm hearing the name Christova. Who is Christova? I'm hearing a name Christova. Christova, I'm going to minister deliverance right now. Christova. Is there someone with such a name? Christova. God wants to set you free. Christova. Who is Martha? Martha. M-A-R-T-H. Martha. Who is Christova? Please don't come out at random. If it's not your, if don't feel bad. If it's not, don't worry. Everybody will receive you. Hallelujah. Christova. Bring for me the gentleman that shouts now under the anointing. Loud. Please pick him and bring him to the front. A gentleman, not a lady. Your name is Christova. What do you do? I'm a student. I'm a student. Huh? Come again. NDLEA, sir. NDLEA. NDLEA. Yes. I'm going to pray for you, Christova. Yes. The Lord wants to do a miracle in the life of Christova. The power of God is coming on one of you right now. I just saw light, the ladies. One of you, the anointing of the Spirit is coming upon you. Martha. I'm hearing the name Martha. I curse that oppression of darkness let her go now yeah. Christopher I pray for you in the name that is above all names let the spirit of death over the family of Christopher in the name that is above all names whatever is programming an obituary over the family of Christopher it dies now in the name of Jesus. Dies now in the name of Jesus. Is there anyone with the name Maimuna? That should be a Hausa, a northern name. I'm hearing Maimuna. I want to pray for you. If you find such a person, we have to be very fast. Christova, you, the spirit of death over the family of Christova, I come against it right now. I declare you will live and not die. You will live and not die. You will live and not die. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know, I presume there might be a number of people, but there's a gentleman here, they call you Junior. Junior. What's your name? Junior. They call you Junior. junior. Yes, yes. Look at me, where are you from? Benway State. Benway State. I need to pray for you. Because I'm seeing your leg swelling. And I'm wondering what is swelling this leg. Don't be afraid. I'm not a prophet of doom. Stand up, my friend. Junior. They call you Junior. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over this gentleman. The Bible says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. As I'm praying for him, I'm praying for you. Anybody that plans evil for you. In the name of Jesus, what happened to Haman will happen to them. I say it again, digging a pit for you to fall. May they fall into that same pit. Fall into that same pit. Fall into that same pit.
in the name of Jesus Christ. Who works in UBA? United Bank for Africa. UBA. I can imagine that there might be many people who are staff here who works in UBA. We have to be very fast. Please don't tell lies. Make sure that you are serious. We are not playing games. Please. UBA. Okay, the ladies, huh? in the name of Jesus, now I'll pray for you. Father, my dear, look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! I decree and declare everything the devil has planted in your stomach, I declare that it lives now forever. Amen. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus. You be a, I'm praying for you. There is something that God wants to do in that bank. And there are a few people who are going to be mightily lifted. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for you. The favor that needs to rest upon you in UBA. I release that grace upon you. That as they are looking for people to lift. Because you have come here tonight. May my God honor you. What God says to one, he says to all. God has spoken to us that it's a season of reward. May it be so for you. I'm saying it to you again. Be lifted in a way that will surprise you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You return to your seat rejoicing. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is opening my eyes. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. I wanted to bring those people out. And the Lord is taking me to Kogi State. There is a spirit. When God shows me this, now he begins to minister to people who belong to those regions. It's a sign and a wonder how God does it. But right now I'm praying, even as God has shown me, everyone who comes from that region and has been tied down, bring them out by witchcraft, or any orchestration of darkness since God has revealed it in the name that is above all names I silence those spirits now <laughs> I silence those spirits now please bring them out very quickly the Bible says even the lawful captives shall be delivered I'm praying for everybody but I saw the map of Kogi state in the name that is above all names Every evil that dwells within that region, plaguing men by the blood of the eternal covenant, all who are connected to that, set, that territory, be set free this moment. Be set free this moment. Be set free this moment. In the name of Jesus. Who is from Gombe State? Gombe State. Gombe State will be northeast. I don't know why God is speaking to me now about Gombe State. In the name that is above all names, Gombe State. Mighty deliverance is coming to someone. Gombe State. The Lord is showing me that there is a spirit that keeps men and never allows them to rise. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, Gombe State. Ah. Let fire from heaven rest upon everyone who has been plagued by spirits within that state. I set you free now. 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 The powers that reside within those regions, trapping destinies, trapping lives, I declare by the word of the Lord, be free now. Be free now. Be free now. You may not be from this region, but anyone whose region is the reason why you are kept down, I release you. Go forward now. Go forward now. Go forward now. For it is written, 
that even the lawful captives shall be delivered my dear people from Gombe State God has come to you receive that visitation now every family that has been tied down every great destiny that will not emerge I say it again it doesn't matter in what way it is appearing joblessness barrenness troubles in home I declare be delivered now there is a spirit you've lost many men male male in your family by the power that raised Christ from the dead I don't know who is here representing that family but in the name that is above all names we stay the power of darkness from oppressing your family we stay the power of darkness from oppressing your family in the name of Jesus Christ last week you were relieved of your job last week we have to really hurry up this may God bless you please return once I pray for you return to your seat for those who can last week the Lord is revealing to me you were relieved I don't know what happened you were relieved of your job if there is such a person a serious job now you're doing and you were relieved is there such a person I want to pray for you if you can't come forward I'll pray very quickly in the name that is above all names for that person whether male or female is not given to me but in the name that is above all names I'm praying whoever is that person you have been relieved of your job I'm praying that the God of heaven the one who gives people allocations gives people jobs may he open a strange door for you now in the name of Jesus Christ 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 every closed door over your destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead that door is open now that door is open now open for you and your children open for you and your wife open for you and your husband open for you and everyone connected to you in the name of Jesus number two Genesis 21 verse 6 this is someone's prophetic word I'm praying now 21 verse 6 Genesis Genesis 21 verse 6 and Sarah said God had made me to laugh so that all that hear will laugh with me I decree and declare let this be a season of laughter for you let this be a season of laughter for you in the name of Jesus laughter in the morning laughter in the afternoon laughter in the evening laughter in the night in the name of Jesus you will love to sleep and laugh when you wake up in the name of Jesus and that night could not King Ahasuerus sleep and he said bring me the chronicles and when they opened it they found where Mordecai saved him and was not rewarded anyone who should be a conduit for your reward in this season I pray may my God wake them and cause them to remember you wake them and cause them to remember you wake them and cause them to remember you in the name of Jesus when Nehemiah began to build the temple the wall of Jerusalem the Bible says there were two strange men that came to cause trouble to that project one Sambalat two Tobias I pray for you anyone spying on your progress and working with men and spirits to see that you don't advance to see that the promotion does not come to see that the rest does not come I decree and declare they are banished from your life forever Banish from your life forever you see let me tell you there are certain men in the Bible who are not just men when you hear their names they speak of spirits Absalom Sambalat Tobias are we together you hear of all these names these are not names Haman you see that now these are people who they came into the lives of people and destroyed them 
Absalom, for instance, this guy began to gain popularity over a, a period of years to a point that he convinced the advisor, the, the, the advisor of David. Absalom, I'm praying for you. Any person who wants to speak to the ears of your helpers to stop them from arising to help or continue what they started doing, may they never get to the ears of your helpers. If you are a king here and there is any Haman roaming around your palace, even if he's helping you for now, may God expose them. May God expose them. For the safety of your kingdom, may God expose them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Even though it later worked out for a redemption, but when... That, that should be Pontius Pilate or Herod, one of them, wanting to crucify Jesus. The wife got up and said, I had a dream. This man is innocent. Don't touch him. Even though we know that it later worked out for the salvation, but let me pray for you. Any wrong step you are about to make, whoever needs to arise to be by your side to correct you so you do not make destiny destroying mistakes, I pray may God bring them speedily. May they come before the damage happens. I say it again. May they arrive before any damage happens. In the name of Jesus. Help will never come too late for you. Help will never come too late for you. Now I pray for you. The kind of honor you have not seen from January till now, May. If you have the faith to believe it. I lay my hands on my head and I pray for you. In this month of July beginning, may God surprise you. Kings will honor you. Nobles will honor you. Captains of industry will honor you. The great will call you great. In the name of Jesus Christ. Three more prayers and we're done. Three more prayers and we're done. Three more prayers and we're done. I want to pray that prayer of divine strategies for you again. This night as you go to sleep. Dreams that you've not had before. Visions of things you've not seen before. In the name of Jesus, the blueprint, the strategy for the next prophetic season of your life. May it be downloaded to your spirit man. Downloaded to your spirit man. Concerning ministry. Concerning business. Concerning family concerning your career the strategy for the next season receive it in the name of Jesus do you believe what you're receiving let me forbid the spirit of death and then speak divine protection are we together our world is full of evil it's everywhere but the Bible says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Let me pray for everyone here. Any car you will enter, where you will never return home again. Any aircraft you will enter, that will be the end of your life. Any journey you will take, that will not allow you to return home. I call upon the God of my covenant. Let it be stopped forever. I say it again, any car you will enter that will stop you from returning home, huh? anywhere you will go to that will mean the end of your life, may God give you discernment. We release angels to be on assignment in the name of Jesus Christ. You are preserved from the arrows that fly by day, the noisome pestilence, the destruction that wastes in noonday. I declare none shall come to your dwelling. My final prayer for you right now is concerning your spiritual life. That means your prayer life. That means your word study life. That means your passion for the things of God. That means your character. I pray for you by all means be as spiritual as you should be. That means be as prayerful as you should be. As word compliant as you should be 
as transformed as you should be men and women of character by the spirit doing exploits for the kingdom everything that represents slumber spiritual laziness laxity death of your prayer life your communion with God I declare be delivered from it now wave your hands and give Jesus praise we bless you O oh God we give you praise we honor you thank you for your good hand in the name of Jesus Christ I am certain that the sermons you've embraced have been a wellspring of blessings lifting your life and igniting a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve God we extend a heartfelt invitation for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, ensuring you remain connected and never miss any upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription transcends a mere click. It symbolizes a dedication to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled odyssey with us as our channel strives to become a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and steadfast believers. We staunchly believe in the transformative prowess of God's Word, and our objective is to disseminate messages that deeply resonate with the essence of your soul. Become a part of our community, subscribe, and let the radiant light of divine wisdom, your presence is integral to this uplifting journey, and may the abundant blessings of God overflow in every facet of your life. Amen. Stay connected with us across all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel and explore more on our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Gratitude fills our hearts and may God's abundant blessings continue to grace your life abundantly.